okay, what is the domain of this inverse sine function? Um, so the inverse sine accepts values of negative one to one uh, because the sine sine itself can can achieve a height of one uh, and a depth of negative one. And so the inverse takes in the y values that sine outputs. So um, this is the range of sine. So that, that's going to be the, the domain of the inverse of sine. However, we have this division by two, which means if we were to plug in negative two, for instance, you plug negative two into here, you get negative two divided by two, and that becomes negative one. So negative one um, is inside the, the, the um, domain of sine inverse, which means negative two is going to be in the domain of sine inverse of x over two. And then of course that goes up to two as well, because if you plug in two, you're going to get two divided by two, you get one, which is in the original um, a domain. So that is going to be the answer, which is B.